Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is another hunting vlog. I am gonna buy my first bow. I am very excited. I've only shot a compound bow a couple times. I talked to a bunch of my hunting buddies and they said, if you're gonna go somewhere, check out Heights Archery in Winnipeg. Today I have my buddy Paul Coneshot joining me. He's gonna help me with some tips and just help me find the right bow and everything. And uh, yeah, Paul's the owner of Birdtail, which I've spent a bunch of time filming at. And uh, he's a mentor to me, just an awesome dude. Anyways, here he is. Looks like he brought some gear along. All right, all right. What's up? How's it going, buddy? Good, good. Good to see you. Just watched the video. Yeah, you did? Yeah, Found it when you like it? Yeah, man. So now we're vlogging. Paul, meet the viewers. Viewers, meet Paul. Hey, guys. Um, Paul's an excellent hunter, so he <laughs> offered up his time to come along and help me find a bow. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Well, Paul brought his bow along, so I'm sure he's gonna show me how it's done. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of bows in here. And arrows, look at this. Okay, Paul, how much do I want to spend on my first bow? Lots. Lots of as money. As much as you can. As much as I can. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot to choose from. It's one of those ones where you don't really, you don't look at the price, you don't look at the make. As long as it feels nice. You pick it up and how yeah. it shoots. And then you kind of short list it. Yeah. Ron's super good at that. So he'll kind of he'll get a feeling for nice. what you're looking for. And then basically just pick them up, shoot, shoot, shoot. And then whatever feels good, that's your goal. Hold my hand like this. And hold my hands all the way out and look at my face. Yeah. Okay, you're right, eyed. It's all good. <laughs> I learned what I am dominant. Ron is the man at heights and he has offered to get me set up with my first bow. This is intense. A little strange. So I'm not that strong. Is that going to be an issue? Last time I shot was two springs ago. So. Okay, I don't even know how to put this on my wrist, so. Looks in there. Yeah. Sits in there. Okay. Hook the release to that. Keep this elbow up. Right like that. And I'll draw that right back to your face. Which dot am I looking at? Uh, the top one, probably. Okay. Which target should I shoot? The far one? Just shoot it in the middle of the butt. And squeeze the trigger. There. We survived. Okay, that was my last shot. But I'm actually pretty pumped about those two. Four bows from basically the top four brands. Hoyt, Matthews, PSC, and a Bowtech. And see which one you enjoy the most. Well, I went through four or five bows, What's that, but Ron hooked me up with the Matthews. I am open to any brand and it felt the nicest, so that's where we're going with. He's going to set me up with everything. Yeah. If you shoot all your arrows like this, yeah. with a mechanical, you're going to shoot like this. Yeah. With this, that group becomes that. Mm -hmm. Just because mistakes are exaggerated. Okay, well, I'd rather take the chance on this not opening. Oh, they they open. Okay. Like if you get, like if you get a good one, they okay. open. They're, they're really good. Okay, so let's 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 find one of these. I'd a little shorter, like your feel point. Yeah. And it's just they're gonna be the same. Gotcha. We'll do cool. that. Okay. It's the only one that didn't have a price tag on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it is? Oh, probably two and a half. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> I would have believed it. It's nice enough to be. I think we are set up. We've been here how many hours? We're good two and a half. Two and a half hours, almost three hours. Ron has been so helpful. And now his favorite part, my least favorite part, I have to pay. Is that right? I have to pay? Someone has to pay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Paul, please? No. Well, it's less than an average camera, so it's still cheap. And it's approved. Ron and Paul, thank you so much for your help. Here is what we got. What? What? It's Matthews. Matthews. What's the model? It's a Halon 32. It looks nice. It shoots good. Yeah, it shoots really good. It's awesome. Awesome. So jealous. Thank Thanks you very so much. On. I appreciate it. Yeah. That was awesome, Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I appreciate it. That awesome. was awesome. That was good. Yeah. Congrats. Heights Archery. First impressions. Awesome place. Uh, Ron was incredible. Paul helped me out so much too. Thankful for people like that to get me started. 
Anyways, at Cabela's now, gonna get a tree stand and some boots, and that's probably it. I hope, I hope so. Got two tree stands, another trail cam. I'm like deep into it now, deep, deep. Next step is to find the deer. That's my day, I'm going home, unbox everything, get ready, start practicing. Need to have that perfect shot. Oh, well, first I need to find a deer and then have a perfect shot, anyways. I was so excited to get my first bow, and while I spent a fair amount of time practicing and gaining confidence, when given the opportunity the following year, I opted to harvest my very first whitetail with my rifle. We're not in a boat anymore, guys. It is hunting season. And I gotta give you guys a little update. I uh, I took a break from, from filming last fall a little bit uh, as I was getting more into hunting. And I was like, you know what? I'm still pretty new to hunting. I'm gonna leave the cameras at home for this and I'm just gonna enjoy it. No, no cameras so often my life is consumed by documenting everything. And I thought, let's, let's just enjoy the moment because hunting, I don't know, I think so many people that fish also have grown up in a hunting background and for me that just wasn't the case. So it's been such a learning process and I'm so green uh, fishing. I've been very lucky to be surrounded by Aaron and so many other amazing anglers and, and I was exposed to a lot of incredible fishing at a very early age. Hunting, not so much. I, uh, I was exposed to my first uh, whitetail deer hunt uh, two falls ago and then last fall I started doing it on my own and um, yeah, I was able to harvest two deer last fall, which Sam and I just finished eating, I think last week. So two deer last, lasted Sam and I pretty much, pretty much the fall. Two beautiful bucks we harvested. One was a little spiker, one was a much more mature buck. And Sam was able to share in that experience with me. And that was so very cool. She, she sat for about three hours and this deer walked out and uh, I was able to get it done. But, but so cool being able to share that with her. And now I wanna bring you guys along. Um, like I said, two years ago, I filmed my first whitetail hunt but now we're back and I've I've started doing stuff on my own I was guided by my buddy Blaine two years ago which was great and I'm so thankful for that but there's something that feels so good about doing it on your own and that's that's what we're doing this year and we're taking it to another level hopefully and that is going to be harvesting my first year with my bow archery any anyone I talk to who does both rifle and archery. They just say archery is, is the next level. It's that much more intimate you through, that much more closer. There's that many more ways you can mess it up and I, I like challenge, so that's what we're going for. I, I don't think I'm gonna stick it out for a big buck. I just, I'll be fine. I got a doe tag this year. If I can harvest a doe with my, with my bow, I will be completely content with that. But today is, I guess, the second day of my prep, maybe third day. Uh, this is where I hunted last year. Uh, I added kind of another spot that I, have been setting a camera up and checking. And uh, today we're gonna set up a blind. Hopefully there's still a lot of activity. I'm bringing you guys along for the adventure. And uh, yeah, here we go. Hunting season 2020, Northwest Ontario, baby. Oh, I got so much stuff right now. I should be quiet. That's like the most important thing is being quiet when you hunt. Uh, shout out Sam's family. Thanks for letting me hunt on your property. It's amazing knowing that I'm one of the only people hunting on, I don't even know how many acres this is. And we're gonna go check the trail cam. There was some activity there the other day, I went and checked it with my Uncle Mark. But now we're back and we're gonna set up the blind. This is all very heavy, but I love it.
so I talked to a couple experts, and they said 20 yards is a pretty good distance to set up your blind from the area you're hunting. So, something else that Blaine and other people have taught me is having a good backdrop is nice, so I thought this spot would be pretty nice to set the blind up against a bunch of branches, trees, so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. I'm gonna set this blind up and then I'm gonna brush it in, so I'm gonna take whatever branches and trees around here and lay it up to make it look as natural as possible. early on in hunting, and more so waterfowl hunting, is how important concealment is. You know, you can be in such a good spot, but if you're not concealed, they're gonna bust you right away. I don't know if this is good or not, this is the best I could do right now, but, I don't know, seems pretty covered, pretty good. It's about 20 yards. And uh, this is the path I'm gonna take in. Kind of covered all around the side, and then that's where I'm gonna be hunting from. I'm just gonna close the doors up, and then we're gonna go check the trail cam on our second spot. I'm pretty happy with how this all came together. It's good to check the cams, get to check activity, and then we'll be back probably in a week, maybe less. We'll see. It is the end of September right now. I could archery season is open, but I'm not gonna rush it. I'll wait till I'm feeling confident and take some more time to practice my shooting because that is another thing that's important. Welcome back. It's time to practice my shooting because I still got a long ways to go. But season is upon us and I just want to be confident for that opportunity. I'm going to try probably 20 and 30 yards right now. Did something really bad. That wasn't good. It's was really good. Someone threw a metal tripod, which gives me a lot of confidence that's going to take down a deer, but uh, I don't know what happened with my shot there. I got no excuse. That was insane. I can't believe it went through the tripod. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it out. This is definitely embarrassing. Oh my goodness, look at this. It went directly through the tripod. Oh my goodness. That is insane how powerful that is. So my three shots were probably like kill shots. And that one, I don't know what happened guys, but that's what scares me when I'm hunting. That definitely scares me that I could have a shot like that. But three out of four, just. The, 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 the miss was real bad. All right, no tripod hit this time. We're back, gotta keep practicing. Uh, after checking the trail cams again the other day, it was uh, not much activity. I'm not in a rush. I just, uh, I wanna make this good and I wanna make a really good shot. So we got targets set up to 20 and 30, and we're gonna see if I can do a little better than last time. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. It is Sam's birthday today. Wish her happy birthday. 
she turned 22 years old. Come look at this. What'd you do? Come look. Did you still shoot something bad? No. <laughs> wow. Can I pull it out? What do you think, Sam? Think I'm ready? <laughs> is that wild? It is wild. Guys, I don't know what the date is, but uh, rifle season just opened a couple days ago. Yes, I could be using a rifle, but I'm feeling a lot more confident with the bow. Before the camera came out, I was practicing at 40 yards. I was like, you know what, I'm going to do one more round of 20 before we call it a day. And that happened. I know that happens from time to time, but uh, wow, I'm, I'm excited. I can talk loud, we're not at the spot yet. Guys, welcome back. We are now not too far from our blind. After shooting that Robin Hood, I was like, okay, that's a good sign. Uh, rifle season opened on Saturday, and Jay last year would have been like, let's just get it done with the rifle, but I set a goal for myself to get it done with a bow. Uh, this area has a ton of does. The deer population here is super healthy. Uh, I put in for a doe draw earlier in the year and got a doe tag. Could be a doe, could be a buck. I'm not going to be fussy at all. I just want it to be with a bow and I want it to be in our freezer. So, um, we got a beautiful night, probably got about two hours to sit. And uh, as well, I'm going to brought the laptop along and check the trail cam and see, uh, see it's been frequenting this spot. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. 20 yards is where the blind set up. I was shooting at 40 yards a day and feeling pretty confident. I'm, I'm not an expert by any means, but I just, I know I'm going to be super nervous when, when and if that deer walks out. So. So I have to calm my nerves and hopefully can get it done. All right guys, we made it to the blind. It took me a while to get everything set up. I pulled the cards as well, so we'll uncheck the trail cams. But uh, I've never actually practiced shooting a blind before. So I'm gonna make sure my shooting angles are good. Practice drawing the bow back a couple times, but we're gonna get set up. And yeah, we've probably got about two and a half hours. Who knows, it could happen real quick. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, I'm just vibrating guys. I think we did it, I think that was a good shot. 
Oh man, that was, guys, that was 40 minutes into my hunting season. I'm still vibrating a little bit, guys. I, uh, I just can't believe how quickly that happened. Holy smokes. I checked my trail cam here and, and the card didn't, didn't work properly last round. So I didn't have any pictures, didn't know if deer had been here. And sure enough, it was like, it was like 45 minutes. My deer hunting career, I've been just too lucky. I know I haven't shot a big buck or anything, you know, maybe that'll be the next thing, but <sighs> practice. Hopefully all that practice paid off. I think, I think we got a good shot. I sighted it in at 18 yards and put the 20 pin right, right where I thought, right behind the shoulder. And I don't know how long we wait. Probably gonna wait for another 15, 20 minutes. All right, we're gonna go look. Go take a look. I uh, reviewed the footage and I, I wasn't super happy with it. It was a lot further back than I'd hoped. But I guess we'll see. Hopefully I got him in the lungs. Oh, we're running out of light. Can't find the arrow, couldn't find blood. And just, I replayed the shot and it was just, no, I can shot, I've watched so many hunting videos before and it's like, I know where a good shot's supposed to go. And I, and I had all the time in the world, I wasn't sure if I was gonna take it. Then I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be fussy and, oh, I'm sad. But I called my buddy Jaden and he said, you know what, just, just let it sit and go back in the morning. Don't push it right now, so much as I want to go look, it is dark. I grab my camera gear and I'm gonna look for my arrow a little bit longer and then we're gonna pack up and come back tomorrow morning. All right guys, it's just before seven, we're headed back to the blind. Picking up my buddy Jaden and uh, he offered to come help track this deer. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions. I mean, I, I played back the footage afterwards. It wasn't like, a completely awful shot it wasn't a great shot but I, I sent I sent that clip to a couple you know of my hunting buddies that have a lot more experience than I do and they, they think that it's most likely dead and depending if I pushed it when I looked a little bit it, it shouldn't be that far so uh, Uncle Mark and Jaden are both gonna meet me there and we're gonna grid the area and but yeah who knows could happen quick could be a couple hours here we go all right we're back in the bush we got Jaden we got Uncle Mark and uh, I think we're gonna find the deer. Oh, there's a decent bit. There's a bit open. It's a good sign. Okay. We'll go this way. Look at this, right there. That's what we're looking for. What'd you say? You really? Yeah. Wow, he carried it for a while. I thought it went straight through. Oh, it never opened up. No, they'll just play all around. Oh, and it'll close? Yeah. Potentially. That's good, that was white before. Oh, that's good. There's blood. You went right down to Yeah, right on this trail. There's more blood. Right there. Now which way did he go? Oh, there's a lot of blood. A lot of blood right here. Tons of blood right there. There he is. There she is. We did it. Because if it would have been sitting here or whatever, yeah. just bedded down and you tried to come down the hill. Yeah, then you would have pushed him. It would have moved, for sure. Well, Jaden's advice was right. He said, leave it and we'll come back and find it in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we found it. That took less than 10 minutes and we found the arrow. I'm just so happy we found him. So happy he died. I don't think it, I don't think it was that, that long. Well guys, it took some work, but I'm very thankful for family and friends who are willing to help. We got this little doe. No, it's not some big trophy buck, but this is going to be delicious eating for Sam and I, and I'm so thankful for that. Um, yeah, this is the first year I put in for a doe tag and also my first ever hunt with my bow and the shot hit a little further back than I would have hoped, but I think it died pretty quick. I think it was, uh, I don't think it suffered too long. 
and I'm just thankful for opportunities like this. And uh, yeah, now the work begins. The deeper I dive into hunting, the more I realize it's so much more than that moment when you pull the trigger. It's the process that I'm falling in love with. The scouting, the checking trail cams, the hours spent practicing. I can't express enough my thanks to all my hunting friends who've helped me along the way. Now Sam and I have meet in the freezer to last us for the winter, and I'm so thankful to God for all of it. <laughs>